Hey, Megan. All right. Before we get to the nuts and bolts, which will be in the next two videos, um, I do want to just connect this with that work integrated learning uh, project we're going to be doing. So let me say at the beginning, this work integrated learning project won't be um, it won't be a challenge to get marks to some extent. You know, if you do the things you do, you'll you'll get. Um, grades for it. Um, it. You know, in fact, this peer scholar activity is maybe more of the challenge to earn your marks uh, than that one will be. But that one's really cool, right? Because we really will have the potential to inform the Ontario government. Uh, and so I'm still shaping in my mind the right way to do it. And what I'm imagining now is that you're going to be involved in, in a group work creation of a document um, to send to um, the Ontario government. I'm, in fact, I'm going to introduce you to the people uh, later this week and you'll get a sense of it. And so the idea is to create a little document. And I think what I'm going to have you guys do is work as, as groups of five or six. Now, you won't know these other people, but Peer Scholar, through the magic of it, theoretically can make this all happen. It's sort of testing some new capabilities for me, and I hope it doesn't all blow up. But theoretically, you're going to be able to log on and sort of in a Google Doc style, create a document um, that you all contribute to. And so this document that I have in mind, it won't be all that long, but I'm going to ask you to suggest to them um, a few things that you think should be part of uh, Ontario's future online offerings, um, some characteristics you think are important. And really, you'll have a lot of freedom to pitch whatever you want. That the more general sense I'm going to give you is um, of you have an opportunity. I'm, I'm putting some of you, I'm going to put 10 groups of you, so it'll be 10 groups, um, in front of some players in the Ontario government who are decision makers over e-learning. And I'm going to give you the opportunity to have some sort of influence over the kind of learning experience future Ontario students receive. And, and that's really kind of the palette. What do you want to do with that opportunity? Uh, and so together, you know, I'm imagining some sort of document. It could be a video if you want to produce a video together, although that would be much more complex. Now, I think it's going to have to be a document in this one. Um, but where you kind of argue for certain practices or certain characteristics or certain supports or whatever you think should be part of the e-learning system. Um, now, you've, of course, done a little bit of research on this on your topic. So what I want to stress to you now is as you go through and assess your peers, it's not just about assessing their work and giving them feedback. That is the primary task. But learn from their work as well. You are now going to be exposed to the ideas of people who have studied other things, um, done research on other things that you didn't. If you see some things there that look cool, write them down. You know, say, oh yeah, that may be, that that could be something I could use in my work integrated learning project. This is not stealing, <laughs> okay? This is being informed, this is collaboration. So you are being informed by the ideas of others. And let's say there's ultimately five people on your team that will do the work integrated learning thing. Well, all five of you are now getting exposed to a bunch of different ideas. And then I would like you to bring those ideas or what you think are the best of those ideas to the table, and then you're going to try to package them up in a convincing way um, when you create that document that will go to the government officials. So, so see this as that too. You're not just assessing your peers. You are learning about research on education and various things that have been found to be effective. Um, and this is, in a sense, uh, the fodder that you will use, the information that you will use to help inform your work integrated learning project. Okay, so so take notes, think about things, cool ideas, write them down, carry them with you to the work integrated learning thing. All right, cool. That's all I have to say with that. Um, again, you'll get more information about that at the end of this week. Um, I wanted you guys to focus on this first part. Uh, uh, yeah, first. Cool. Later. <laughs>